Here's a pumpkin spice Dollar Tree craft. Keep watching. Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be using these little photo prop picks and a thrifted pumpkin and some houses from Dollar Tree and some scrapbook paper or crafting paper or wrapping paper, whatever you have, and then a piece of this cork adhesive paper that's in the background. It's just scrap I have left. And those paper pads are on clearance at Joann's right now for 97 cents. This came from Dollar Tree. I used it on a previous project and had a little left. Gonna need your glue gun, your scissors, glue stick from Dollar Tree. And if you see there in the right corner, that is my daughter crafting with me. She likes to get her craft on while I'm crafting, so that's her design up there. So we're going to remove the backs. You can just press with your thumbs and those will pretty much pop out. Sometimes the paper comes out easily, sometimes it sticks. But if you have any on the edges, you can take a regular nail file, got this from Dollar Tree, and just file that down. And the pieces should come off fairly easily. And if you don't mind them on there, you can just leave them on. So we have three houses of three different sizes and I'm just fitting in my photo props to see what's gonna work the best. Those were really easy to pull off the fix too. Now I'm looking at my paper to decide what background is going to look the best for the colors that we have. Okay, so see there's some remnants of the old paper, but we don't care about that. It's going to be covered, not a problem. I'm going to turn it over and measure. And remember, part of the frame is going to cover some of the edges, so I'm just moving this down a little bit to allow for the width of the frame just to make sure that I have enough paper to cover everything and there's no gaps. So I'm cutting right to the inside of my lines. And just using a glue stick that came from Dollar Tree. Came in a multi-pack with the school supplies, by the way. I think there were eight in a pack, so it's a really good deal. Just gonna put that down and use my handy dandy ruler to make it lay nice and flat. So here I am doing the same thing on one of the other houses. And you'll see the gaps on the side, but that won't matter because the frame will cover it. Okay, so the cork adhesive sheet is going to be a little bit different because it has a little thickness that the paper does not have. So we wanna allow for that so that the frame can seat down nicely around the fork. And it will pretty much be sitting back in its original position against the backing. So the frame will sit flush against the backing. So to allow for that, I'm going to cut maybe a eighth quarter of an inch, something like that to the inside, just about the width of whatever the frame width is. And I'm just kind of estimating. So I'm cutting it there and I'm also gonna cut it on the other side, but you don't see that in the clip. I'm gonna center it peel off this little plastic paper backing and just center it onto the back. And then there is a little gap there because I estimated. So I'm just gonna use this in a few minutes and trim it up on the inside. Using the hot glue, I'm going around the edges here and replacing the backs. And it looks kind of like faux shiplap, so it's a nice farmhouse look. By the way, the music I chose is because this is kind of coffee shop music and I thought it would be appropriate for our pumpkin spice cup up there. Okay. So see there's a space there. You're gonna just put your glue there, fit the frame back on top. And here are my little rubber fingertips. And these keep your fingers safe, keep you from getting burned. They came from the Dollar Tree in a three pack. So I've gone around my edges and just made that flush against the edges and it looks fine. 
and here are my three houses. And these are the items that are going to go in each one. So I'm going to take the pumpkin spice cup and I have some of these foam, I don't know, dimensional stickers. They're by 3M, but you can get something like this at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to layer them because I want them to, I want them to stand up off of the background. So I'm going to layer two, two on the top, two on the bottom, and that's going to give it a little depth when you put it into the frame. All right, I'm going to do the same thing to my pumpkin topiary or pumpkin tower, whatever that is over there. And press him firmly down in the frame too. Okay, the pumpkin, the happy harvest pumpkin over there is one that I thrifted. And if you'll know, if you'll see in one of my first two videos, I actually made that one over. Um, so I'm going to use it now. I'm going to use a little Gorilla Glue so that it stays for a long time. And I'm going to use hot glue for a quick fix. Because I don't know that this is something that I'll ever redo. I really like this particular craft. Never say never. Okay, so you're going to take a pick of your choice. This came from Dollar Tree. And just, you can put some leaves in this or around it. You can use the berries, which is what I'm going to use. And just cut it into pieces and use it as an accent wherever you wish. to the corner where my pumpkin spice and everything nice cup is. Then you can see I've already put some on the Happy Harvest pumpkin up there. And then this is some thrifted raffia. You can use the hula skirts from Dollar Tree if you'd like, but I went ahead and used this. All I did was just tie one of the little strings of it around the center to hold it together and give it a, pa a place to hold the glue and hold in place. And did it there for the pumpkins as well. And this one I'm going to do the same way and with a little tie in the middle. But rather than gluing it straight onto the bottom, I've done it sort of at an angle. And you can just trim that up wherever you want to or need to, or you can leave it kind of hanging wild. And so here the three are together, and I'm just going to add a couple more berries along here and there to complete my look. You can do this any way you want with any type of picks. If you want to do neutral colors, you can do neutral colors. You can paint the facing of those frames or you can paint the entire box if you want to. You can do it any which way you like. I hope you're enjoying these fall videos. Uh, if you do, please give it a thumbs up and comment below if there's anything in particular you would like to see me make. I've had some input about doing more projects with the, 50, the thrifted items that I have, so I'm working on that as well. And again, thank you so much for your support and subscribing and sharing. I'll see you again soon. Bye!